you guys are always wondering, hey, how do I overcome sales objections? I would, say that, I would say that's probably the most common thing that we see from our fans, our followers, from agents is, hey, how do I overcome sales objections? They happen, they're going to happen, they're inevitable. I've got three simple steps that we teach everywhere all the time. Agree, answer, and ask. We teach it in our sales room. Dave and I are talking about it on a show later today. I talk about it on Sunday nights. Our sales team use it in here because whether you get objections out in the field, they get objections on the phone, everybody's gonna get objections. You're gonna get objections all the time. But what you say and what you do can impact if you're able to overcome that or not. I would say one of the biggest things is we teach our, we, we teach our salespeople, hey, believe that you can overcome the objection. Expect that the, you're gonna be able to overcome the objection. Assume that you're gonna be able to overcome the objection. Because a lot of times, if you don't expect it, if you don't assume it, and if you're not confident that, hey, I'm overcoming this thing right now, you'll probably never overcome it. So that's one of the biggest things that we teach is, hey, when you get an objection, start out by being agreeable, but expect that any hurdle in life, anytime someone throws a curveball at you, expect to overcome it. Don't give up. Don't be that dude that just jumps in the corner and, and cries and, 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 and curls up. Expect to overcome those objections. When you get specific objections, overcome them. That's my three A's is always, hey, agree, answer and ask.